think back uh, like when it started eight years ago, yeah. what's different from then compared to now? Uh, then it really started as a um, resisting culture, kind of free culture, making a statement in a political sense that we need space in Amsterdam or we claim space because we are already so much uh, in the understream of the city all the, yeah, for a long time, but always we get evicted for city development. It started like this, it's really like cultural self-defense between uh, the big forces of the city development and uh, real estate uh, business. But it's very DIY, do-it-yourself mentality. kind of rooted in uh, the old industrial uh, brownfields. It's like the old uh, silos and uh, harbor industries which are usually abandoned. They are technical buildings anyway. So uh, we like to have our festival in this kind of buildings because it inspires us, it's very technical. And since we are habiting those kind of areas already for decades, um, that's where our love for techniques come from. Instead of machine art now, it's really uh, yeah, a lot more pneumatics, hydraulics, but computer driven, very complicated software. And it's basically the, the world top of uh, roboteers from all over the world are coming to meet each other and exchange their knowledge and their ideas. And we combine this uh, special thing with uh, much more theater and fire shows and uh, yeah, water experiments. And, uh, so it's changing, but still, I think the character of the festival, a little bit of resistance, uh, <coughs> critical of society, recycling materials, uh, vegetarian catering for instance, all that issues are really part of Robodoc, but the quality of the, the shows, the performers, uh, technicians involved, it's much more on the professional level, so that slowly it becomes an art and technology festival, while it comes from uh, resisting culture, and uh, yeah, it's still developing, and now I think we should develop it more into producing ourselves over the year and also getting mobile. So finally take up all these invitations all over the world for Robodoc and uh, let's go traveling, you know. Yeah. Well, somebody said it looks really like a Mad Max film. But then with the surrealism of a Fellini film, it's really kind of overwhelming impressions by very different disciplines. You know, if it's a te te technology or the theater or the music or the multimedia or, you know, <clears throat> and it's big but also very strong, very powerful, very visual. Uh, but, but you can also go really into the small corners and be amazed by little small serene uh, surroundings. I think we can stay here one, two, three years. It depends on what happens around us, with uh, the real estate, of course, again, because we always uh, seem to be a victim of this developments. So for now, I think we can stay here for one, two year, uh, grow the festival, not maybe in size, but in the length. So it should last longer because the production is crazily heavy. So once it's up and four days are gone so fast, so I think next hope it should be two weeks, maybe one month. But to do all that we need a solid basement. And Amsterdam has to give this to us, I think. And respect uh, our credits which we build up in this city and uh, provide us with a space. We're not highly on demand, but you know, a bit of uh, rest in the organization, always on the run, is, uh, is getting very tiring. So. I like empty spaces, I like city, I like architecture, I like alternative, you know, to do everything in a different manner than everything is, everybody thinks it's normal. So it's it's, it's, it's challenging uh, space, it's challenging the city, it's fighting for a place in the city, that's where a little bit of anger is, you know, and uh, a drive to create beautiful things and to, to bring lots of people and old friends who we know for a long time together, but also bring new groups. And, yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's a mixture of things.
but uh, that's sort of <laughs> what keeps me going. And a lot of coffee, of course. Yes. <laughs> This is my function as a, in, a, in this organization to make sure that we are accountable for uh, uh, people who invest money in our, in our uh, festival, which is uh, like the local government, Amsterdam City, other funds in Holland who have supported us uh, these last three years. Yeah, that, uh, you have to be accountable. <coughs> for me, the festival, the, the, the basis is uh, as it is uh, in a, what we sometimes call uh, chaos management. No? It's not to try to, to contain the chaos and put it in uh, uh, fixed and uh, 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 I mean, the, uh, logical or uh, rational comprehensive uh, patterns or regulations, but to keep this element of chaos very much alive. And that's what, uh, yeah, I would, I mean, if that wouldn't be part of the festival, this. This chaos, this chaotic element. Instead of, you know, it's, it's, it's one way is to uh, to organize something is to have everything fixed and everyone is, uh, you know, you know exactly what's going to happen and you got a program fixed for like three months before and uh, you get a hell of a problem that when a week before a, a show is being cancelled or something and everyone goes into frantic uh, confusion because they are not used to, uh, oh, change, oh, what's happening now, huh? Yeah, this uh, element of uncertainty, chaos, it should be, uh, this is, uh, I would like to safeguard that element. Uh. Uh, it's a festival with a, a low budget, it's not commercial. Uh, we have some funds and subsidizers, but not many. So uh, we depend very much on uh, what other people can give us in the way of uh, sponsoring or uh, well, support. So our festival organization has uh, some a small staff and a lot of volunteers and people really uh, well contribute to the festival uh, for free um, and we have lots of uh, companies and uh, sponsors who give materials such as gas and wood and transportation and all kinds of things like that. So that's really unique for Robodog, I think, because um, well, it's called a recycle festival. So also a lot of the materials you see inside uh, are found. We uh, we could uh, go to a hospital in Haarlem and really uh, take everything out from the inside. So what you see now here is part of the basement of uh, a hospital. Uh, well, that's also typical to me. A lot of used stuff is uh, being brought in every day. There's, well, a couple of months ago, and there were a lot of phone calls. We saw something there, we found something there, and then the whole group of people would go in a van and go collect the stuff. And every day, like little marmots, they would bring in the, the treasure of the day. Uh, that's, that's really special. Yeah. Okay, can you tell us uh, what this was all about? Uh, it's a conflict between the man who has his company here and the festival and then the ASM. So we're causing lots of problems for this man's company. So we try to make a solution, negotiating for a couple of weeks, delays, 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 and now it's lawyers on the case. So they uh, try to make a solution for the festival to carry on. and. Uh, it's costing us lots of en extra energy, time, space, manpower. But, uh, but uh, for the rest, I mean, this is going to be sold. Uh, what is, uh, uh, Rob how do you feel about Robodoc so far? Uh, very good. It's going to be uh, quite amazing, I think. Day by day, problem by problem. <laughs> no? yeah. And is there something special that has happened that you didn't expect? Uh, every day there's a uh, lot of things I don't expect, but um, I think it's normal with this festival. The way we want to run the festival, we, it's not possible to, to pay people a normal wage. That's uh, part of the story. 
but we uh, spend a lot of money on the food. We make sure that uh, that uh, you know everyone is fed properly, and uh, that in the morning I got a good breakfast, and uh, at, uh, in the evening you get a good meal. Yeah, no, no, this first time. This is my fifth day. <laughs> and how was it so far? Oh, very, very nice. It's fun, fun to work here, you know. Good people around you makes uh, work pleasure. Yeah. And have you uh, been enjoying the festival a little bit? Yeah, I enjoyed the festival also. Uh, what so, have you seen? I've seen everything, <laughs> several times. <laughs> Can you describe this festival for somebody who's never been here before? No, it's, difficult, it's difficult to describe the festival, you know, you have to be here. It's like a state of mind, you know, it's, it's, it's difficult to express. So what's rock and roll, you know, what's funk, uh, this rock and roll. It's a state of mind, more than, uh, than, uh, than a festival. And I'm cooking every day for, uh, with my crew for today for 700 people, 700 artists and uh, workers. What makes Robodoc a special place to cook at? Uh, no fancy shit, no bling bling, no... Uh, uh, it's like the festival itself, what you see is what you get.